It might seem pretty harmless to use a cleaning product somewhere where you're not necessarily supposed to, but unfortunately, sometimes if you use a cleaning product in the wrong application, you can cause damage to a surface or to yourself. Because I run a cleaning business and I have for so long, I've just become this health and safety stickler. I am all about using the right products the right way so that we don't harm ourselves or surfaces. So in this video, I wanna take some time and outline to you some of the best practices around proper use of products and tools so that you can keep yourself and your surfaces and your family and your pets and anyone else safe and healthy. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to spring forward. When you pick up a cleaning product, one of the first things you can do to identify any potential hazards is to flip it over and read the package instructions. Somewhere you might see one of the WEMIS symbols. If you want a full reference guide of all WEMIS symbols, you can just Google it and you'll see an image come up. But the four most common that you'll find on the back of cleaning products include explosive, meaning that the container or the package itself can explode, which can lead to injury. It's not a good thing. Next, you've got corrosive, which means that if it gets on your skin or in your body, it could lead to burns. Then we have flammable, which means that in the event the product is exposed to a heat source or even a spark, it can combust. And finally, you've got toxic, which means it's poisonous. So if it's inhaled, ingested, or if it gets on your skin, it can lead to negative consequences up to and including death. So you gotta be really careful with this stuff. I will often get asked in the comments about when you should be wearing gloves. Now, of course, gloves are optional when you're cleaning with very gentle products. They're most important if you wanna keep your hands protected from super hot water, from any bacteria that you'll be cleaning, or of course, if you get dry skin. That's if you're using basic products like vinegar, baking soda, and dish soap. However, if you're using a more serious product with a harsher chemical, you'll need to wear gloves to protect your hands from something that could be potentially corrosive. That's why it is so important to read the package first so that you know what you can and can't use without personal protective equipment. Unless you have a chemistry degree, please leave the mixing of the cleaning products to the professionals. If you know of a cleaning recipe that is safe, like vinegar and baking soda, that's great. But vinegar is not a mix-all because if you mix it with something like ammonia or bleach, you can cause a gas that can either harm or kill you. So you have to be really careful. Again, don't mix a cleaning product unless you specifically know that you are supposed to. Keeping products properly stored is crucial not only to make sure that your products will last for a long time, but so that they're not exposed to anything they shouldn't be, including pets and kids. When you are finished using a cleaning product, something that so many people forget is to wipe the bottom and the exterior of the product clean. Now you might think this is a, an extra step and perhaps not so important, but if your product, let's say, is vinegar or something super soapy and there's some residue left behind on the bottom, the surface that you leave it on, if it's, for example, wood, it can actually warp or damage that surface. So you wanna make sure that your product is completely dry and product free so that you're not getting any residue or any damage from that residue in the area that you're storing your product. If you have pets or kids, you have to make sure that you're storing your cleaning products safely, whether it's getting uh, safety latches on your cupboard doors or storing them higher up or in containers that are not easy for kids or pets to open up. And finally, another thing to keep in mind when you're storing your cleaning products is to make sure that they are properly closed. So ensure that the cap is twisted on tightly and that the nozzle on your products are in the closed or off position. That way you never have to worry about leaking or unnecessarily spraying a product where it could end up on your body or in your eye. In the eight plus years we've been doing Clean My Space videos, no one's ever said to me, hey Melissa, can you help me find a more toxic cleaning product? Usually it's the exact opposite. People are always looking for less toxic ways to clean around their homes. However, not everybody is into the DIY thing, which is totally cool. There are lots of products out there that can help you clean in a more responsible and non-toxic way. Now recently I've come across a product that I really like and I'll tell you why. It's called JAWS, which stands for the Just Add Water System. The thing that's great about it is they have a number of different products in their roster. These four happen to be non-toxic. They're also the most commonly used around the home. 
and that means that they're safe around pets and kids. To use them, simply fill your reusable bottle with tap water, insert a new Jaws refill pod, twist the sprayer back on, and go. The spray bottles are designed to combat single plastic use, and I really love that the fact that the pods are recyclable. So if you're going to buy a store-bought product, this is a great option. The other thing that's really cool about the Jaws system is that they're color-coded, which leads me to my next point. In the professional cleaning business, color coding is a super important thing to do. Not only is it for health and safety purposes, but it also helps avoid cross-contamination. The reason color coding is very popular is because when you're hiring somebody and let's say English is not their first language, they can at least identify the product that they need by the color. So they know I need the orange one, not the purple one. This is great when you're teaching young kids how to clean too. You can say, can you grab me the blue cleaner instead of can you grab me the window cleaner or something along those lines. They will be easy to identify by color. This also translates into how you use and set up your cleaning tools at home. Not only can you buy different color cloths so that you can clean different parts of your home and avoid cross-contamination, for example, using purple microfiber cloths in your kitchen and blue ones in your bathroom, but you can do the same thing for your cleaning toothbrushes and for your gloves. For example, you can buy all the same color of items for your kitchen and all of the same color items for your bathroom. So blue toothbrush, blue toilet bowl brush, obviously blue gloves, that all goes to your bathroom and then pink or purple for your kitchen. That way it is super easy and super clear to visually identify what should be used where. If you've read my book or watched any Clean My Space videos where we do the Clean With Me style videos, you have probably heard me refer to PTT, which stands for Product, Tool, and Technique. And this is very important when you're cleaning. You have to understand all three of those to make sure that you're getting the most effective clean in the safest way possible. Now, if you choose to use the wrong cleaning product on a surface or in a cleaning application, not only could it waste your time when you're cleaning, but it can actually damage a surface. For example, if you use an abrasive sponge to clean stainless steel, you'll have scratches. If you use vinegar to clean marble or granite or natural stone, it can cause marring, which is really expensive to fix. Damage can be costly and super annoying. The other thing I wanna point out to you is that sometimes on the internet, now sometimes this happens, not all the time, sometimes, people will talk about cleaning hacks that aren't founded on fact. So they might say to use car wax to clean or protect your shower glass from getting uh, water buildup. While this might sound great because of course car wax helps cars prevent water buildup, do you really wanna be breathing in car wax in your shower? The product was not intended for use in the shower, therefore it wasn't tested for that intended use by the FDA or whatever governing body was putting a label on that particular product. So when you decide to employ a cleaning hack in your home, please think twice about it and make sure that it is indeed safe to do it for you and your family. As a cleaning business owner, I always have to think about health and safety, but as a mom, I think about it too. I think about Riley and what I wanna teach her and what I need to protect her from. And that brings me to this week's common question, which is, do you think that cleaning product health and safety and women's stuff should be taught in schools? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now for me, it's a resounding yes, and I would just augment it while I'm at home teaching my kid more and more and more about health and safety. But do you think that it's incumbent upon the schools to educate our kids about this as well? I'd love to know. This video was sponsored by our friends at JAWS, the Just Add Water System. Their concentrated cleaners are packaged in small, convenient refill pods so that you just buy new refill pods when you run out of cleaner and keep reusing the bottle. They offer five non-toxic, eco-friendly cleaners along with a disinfectant cleaner. They also offer a handy subscription service where they send you refills every three months. To learn more, visit JawsCleans.com. And you can get free shipping on a home cleaning kit, which includes the kitchen, glass, shower, and hardwood floor cleaners by using offer code CLEANMYSPACE at checkout. If you wanna see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow along on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. Chad is at the Chad Reynolds. The two of us are at Clean My Space. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn about Maker's Clean microfiber class, you can click this button right over here. 
there is a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.